Hey, what's up guys? It's Dan with Sydney's Angels, and today we're going to be talking about a really cool 6-in-1 continuous monitor. Um, just so you guys know, I was given this product for free by the manufacturer, so keep that in mind. Although I will try to keep this video honest and just describe my experience with this. So the Cactoli 6-in-1 continuous monitor is really cool. We're going to try it on my 40-gallon um, rainbow fish tank. These are some Gary Lang Melitania Parva, and I've also got some Venezuelan Corridoras in here. This monitor is for anyone like me who's got, you know, a ton of tanks, and maybe you don't want to sit and muddle through different test kits, you know, every day. Maybe you want just a quick picture of what's going on in your tank. If that's the case, and you want to do it continuously, then I think this is a great product. There are six different parameters that this device will measure. Starting on the left and going downwards, we have salinity, pH, and then TDS. On the right, we've got specific gravity, temperature, and electrical conductivity. To be completely honest with you, I will probably only use about half of these, but it's cool that it has this. The only parameters I care about, personally, are the pH, TDS, and temperature. So. Those are the three that we'll really be focusing on today, although I have tested the specific gravity with my refractometer, and it is one, because that is the specific gravity of water, so I know that's correct. So the first thing we're gonna test is the TDS. This is saying 155. This is the TDS meter I usually use. And we're at about 122. So we're about 30 off. I'll actually write it down so I don't forget. 33 high on TDS. And the temperature is coming in at 25.2 Celsius. So let's see what this probe says. We're at 25.6, which is 78 degrees. So we are only off by 0.4 degrees. It's 0.4 degrees too low. And next we're going to test the pH. It says it's right around 7.5. We're going to use an API test kit for that. So if you guys have to use these test kits, I recommend using a syringe. I've got a 60cc syringe that I use for a lot of different things, but instead of having to try to capture the perfect amount of water, you can use a syringe and get the perfect amount of water every time, which I think is 5 mLs you need. So we're hoping that this is somewhat close to 7.5. Three drops in. So we're right at 7.6, which is awesome because the monitor is telling us 7.5. Very happy about that. I don't think we have to play with the pH at all. And something very cool I learned about this monitor that I didn't know about, there was actually a bias correction mode in the back of the book. So these monitors actually come pre-calibrated, which is really nice. You don't have to go through that task of calibrating them. The manufacturer does recommend that you calibrate them every six months. Also, when you do need to calibrate them, you have all these buffer powders that you can mix with water to help calibrate. I've never actually done this, so that'll be interesting, but I'm sure the instructions explain how to do it. I was actually able to go into the menu and make some corrections to the values so that they're exactly what my meter says now. I think that's really cool. So 77.9, that's the exact temperature of the tank that you know, and I was able to switch it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. 125 ppm is dead on accurate. 77.9 is dead on accurate. And I'm happy with the 7.43 pH. That gives you a rough idea what the pH is. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now that we've reset the values, let's go try it on another tank and test the values and see how close we are. This is my 60 gallon rainbow fish tank. It's just holding different uh, breeder rainbows in case a tank was to crash or something like that. So I've got all my backups in here. So temperature I'm getting 79.3 and right now the monitor is saying 79.4 so that's pretty good. And for TDS the monitor is saying 164 and my TDS pen is saying 156. That's really really close. Wow. And I already took a pH test and it was at 6.4. This is saying 6.32. That's pretty close. This is really nice because if I'm, if I'm working on breeding projects and I just want a quick a glance at the values, this might be a perfect little tool for that. Uh, I, I really don't like mixing the liquid test kits and I don't think the paper test kits are very good, so 
this might be a great in the middle option for someone like me who's just lazy and has got a lot of tanks. I've had this monitor for about a month now and it's proven to be a really useful tool in the fish room. The values have stayed pretty consistent with little to no tweaking needed after the initial adjustments. It would be nice to see a rechargeable battery option for this product, although it's not a big deal to have to manage the power cord. If you're interested in picking one of these monitors up for yourself, you can save 10% when you use this discount code during checkout on Amazon. I'll post a clickable link to the product as well as the company's official page in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.